guys, tonight's movie review is for Draft Day, starring Kevin Costner, Jennifer Garner, and Dennis Leary. Um, basically, a little bit about this movie. It's about Draft Day in the NFL. The whole movie takes place at around the 12 hours leading up to Draft Day and the first pick. In this movie, Kevin Costner is the main character. He plays the general manager for the Cleveland Browns. And he's dealing with a lot of pressure, of course, being the general manager, being the one who makes the decisions for the picks. And uh, the Cleveland Browns being a team that has really gone through some rough times. Near the beginning of the movie, he intends to make a deal with the Seattle Seahawks in which they'll be trading picks and trading some future picks. And there's some people in the Cleveland Browns that agree with that decision, a lot of people who don't, including the head coach played by Dennis Leary. Um, he and Kevin Costner butt heads a lot throughout the movie, kind of talking about what would be best for the team and best for the future of the team. And then Jennifer Garner, she also works for the Cleveland Browns. She um, helps, I guess, on the financial side to make sure that they don't go over budget when getting these teammates and in the movie she also happens to be dating Kevin Costner's character and you learn near the beginning of the movie that she's just found out she's pregnant he didn't take the news well so on this day he finds out he's going to be a father and he's in the middle of deciding the picks for this year's draft day um, there are three college football players that they kind of focus on in the film. One, his name is Bo, and he's a quarterback, and he's kind of known as the golden boy, the person you really want to have as your pick. Then there is another guy who is estimated to be about a middle-of-the-road pick. He is a defensive lineman, and he's more of a hot hothead kind of. He makes crazy decisions but has a huge heart, and um, that's pretty much it. And then the third player, he is a legacy. His father was a Cleveland Brown, and he really wants to continue on in that tradition. So those are kind of the three choices that they focus on in the movie. Who are the Cleveland Browns going to pick out of those three? And um, also in the movie, they, there are kind of two parts to it. One is the football and seeing all the behind-the-scenes things seeing how many communications there are between all the different teams, what kind of deals are made, what kind of promises are made, you know, will you give up my, your pick for these players and these future picks, all this kind of stuff that people don't really see when they're watching the draft pick show, but all of the stuff that's going on in the background between all the different teams before the picks are made. And then the other part of the movie is the relationship between Kevin Costner and Jennifer Garner. They're trying all day in the middle of this madness to kind of get in little conversations about the big news that they're having a baby. Um, this movie is a comedy, I'd say. It has some dramatic moments, especially the stressful moments when the picks are trying to be made and deals are trying to be done between the different teams. But I'd say overall it's a comedy. There are a lot of really funny moments, um, especially there's an intern that Kevin Costner's character has, and it's his first day being an intern, of course, on such an important stressful day. And um, the scenes between the intern and Kevin Costner are really funny. Um, and just kind of the relationship between everybody. There are all these funny moments between the different people who work for the Cleveland Browns. Um, the one thing that I'd say I probably didn't enjoy as much about this movie is it was like a football scene and a romantic scene. A football scene and a romantic scene. Like it almost seemed to really formulate the way they were trying to do it. And I almost didn't see, need to see that much of the romance. The the football, the trying to find out who's going to pick, that was really the driving force of the movie. And I really didn't want that interrupted so much. But um, overall, I'd say all the acting was really strong. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was 
good time. I'd probably give this movie um, a B. I'd say for this time of year, especially people who are football fans who are craving that because it's been a couple months since the Super Bowl, you're really going to enjoy this. It's a really different insight into something that you might feel like you know a lot about, but you're seeing it from a different perspective, which I think is always cool. So I would say, you know, go out and see this this weekend, especially on a matinee. Um, I'd say... It's even worth an evening, especially if you're really into football. Uh, yep, I'd give this one a B. That's all I got. Thanks.